And the mystery source code is... Eggfall. Okay, so if you guys don't know what Eggfall is, it's actually a clone of uh, Flappy Fall. So it's based on the Flappy Bird Fall game. So it's a very simple um, game mechanics and very easy to risk in. So let me play the game to show you. As you can see already, there's a menu. You don't have to risk in the menu. That's optional. Um, you basically control that basket right here and there's eggs falling from the sky and you need to catch them all. Obviously, um, the eggs starts to fall slowly, then it keeps falling faster and then it falls in different patterns. So let me click on play to give you a little demo. So you have to catch them all, okay? Seems pretty easy, right? Okay, and the purpose is to increase your score so that you can um, have the, the biggest score, right? And uh, as you can see, it's starting to become faster already. Okay, now I'm playing on the, the iPhone simulator with the mouse, so it's a lot harder than with the finger touching the uh, phone screen, okay? But know that that's pretty much how it works. Now, as you can see, those patterns and the speed at which it falls and the, the, uh, the velocity or the acceleration, all of these are variables, so all of these can be changed. Okay, now look, it's going to get a lot faster, okay? So we're going to keep going. I'm not going to play too much because I don't want to waste too much of your time. I just know that it keeps going faster. All right. I'm going to stop here and lose just to show you that if you hit just the the, the, the side of the basket, it falls. Okay. So it really has to be in the, in the middle of it. So now what you can risk in is obviously the logo, the basket, and the falling items, and the background, and the ground right here. Okay. The rest is totally optional. So I repeat, that's the basket, the logo, two of them the falling items that's three the background and the ground that's just five unique um items to risk in okay isn't that simple yes you guys should be done in, in, in honestly in a half hour you guys should be done okay so now what i want to show you next is um how to uh, change all those variables and where are the graphics and the sounds all right so once you get the source code just unzip it and open the flappyhunt.xcode project. Once you do that, it will open in Xcode. And once you're there on the project, you already know that you need to change your bundle identifier, your team. Same thing in the build setting. Don't forget to change uh, the code signing. Put your iPhone developer license and your provisioning profile right here. Then go to info tab and change the build, the bundle name and the bundle display name, okay? And obviously the bundle identifier. Okay, so those three for sure. And that's pretty much it here, okay? Next thing you want to do is uh, start the reskinning process. So first of all, uh, before even uh, jumping to the graphics, I want to show you a couple of things. You can just go to the uh, global.h file right here, okay? If you open the global.h, all the IDs are located in this file, okay? The Apple app ID, which is the one used to rate the app, just change this one. Charboost and uh, the app ID and app signature for Charboost are here. The RevMob app ID, the AdMob banner ID, and the leaderboard ID. Okay, these are the most important ones to change. Um, and don't worry about the rest, the effect buttons. You can change the, the, the name of the of the of the sounds here and a few settings here. But honestly, don't touch them really. Um, the ones, the settings you actually want to change are in the gameplay layer .mm, Okay, this file right here. Okay, I'm just going to click here straight on it. So what you can change here is the character speed, at which speed the character falls. Then the falling item initial count. It starts with four items, five items that fall. Now you can go to 50 or you can even go to 200 items that fall, okay? And then the increment. Every time there's a new wave, how many items come in the new wave? So if it starts with five, the second wave will have five plus 15, which will be 20. Then the second one will have 35 and so on. Then this is the initial fall speed, okay? And uh, this is the increment of the speed when it, it falls. It keeps going faster, okay? Then this is the maximum of the fall speed. Obviously, you know, if you want no maximum, you can put the value of like a thousand, but that's already way too fast. I wouldn't go any, any, any higher than 30 or 35 here, but play with it. Then this is the paddle scale. Here the paddle obviously is uh, the, the basket, but you know, I call it a paddle because it could be anything. It could be, uh, a, you know, it could be a, a racquetball or, uh, or it could be a, a spaceship, anything you can think of. 
the falling item scale are the, the, the items that fall, what are the scale, okay? So uh, the, the lower this, the number, the smaller the item is. Same thing for the paddle scale, okay? And uh, display instructions duration, that's how long the instructions are, are gonna appear. Remember at the beginning it says uh, drag uh, the finger to, uh, to, uh, to play? Then you, you can say, uh, you, you can change that, but you don't have to. Then this is the vertical space between the falling items. So basically, what is the distance between each items that are falling, okay? So the bigger, the easier it is, and the smaller, the harder the game is, all right? And the time spent between waves. So every time there's a wave, uh, you can wait maybe, you know, like uh, 2.5 seconds, or you can wait 10 seconds or 20 seconds. That's up to you, okay? So play with this, and you can make a totally new game with this. Okay, isn't that amazing, right? So, something I want to show you is how to reskin the graphics and the sound. So, just go to the groups and files, right click and do show in Finder. All right? Once you do that, um, you click on jump jump right here, and inside you have a resources folder. Okay? Uh, actually, before even getting there, you obviously have the icons right here, so change the icons here. Okay? And you have the uh, launch images you can change the three launch images, all right? Pretty straightforward. Now, what you're gonna do is go to the resources folder and that's where the meat of the graphic images are located in, okay? So, obviously, um, there's two icon files that you can change here as well. And what you wanna change um, are the sounds. If you do, you don't really have to, there's only five of them, but really, you can just leave it the way it is. If you really want to change some sounds, you can just change the music. That's uh, the background music, music uh, underscore back, okay? And obviously the graphics that are in, under textures. Now, the graphics are pretty easy. Uh, you have the background. There's actually three files for the background because there's like three uh, resolutions for three sizes. There's the uh, Retina display, the uh, 3.5 inch um, iPhone screen, and the 4 inch iPhone screen, okay? Then you have the ground, the one at the bottom. Then you have... Um, uh, that's the HD version and the non-HD. Then you have the falling item, okay? And you also have um, the um, paddle, okay? So the paddle is obviously the basket, okay? So you can change that as well. And the GUI, you don't have to touch the GUI, which is basically the play button, the rate button, and uh, the logo. Oh, you actually have to change the logo, okay? All right, so that's up to you if you want to change that, okay? Um, now... Let me show you a quick reskin, all right? So, by the way, with this uh, source code, we gave you graphic packs, okay? So, we have falling items that are ready to drag and drop, okay? All these items are ready to drag and overwrite inside of the texture folder. You just go here and overwrite this item, this file, and this file right here, okay? So, if they're already ready to use. And if you want to make them bigger or smaller, that's very easy. You go to the code and you look for falling item scale. You want to make it bigger? No problem. Just put a value of 1.0 here. You want to make it smaller? No problem. You can put a, va a value of 0.22 or, or anything like that, okay? So it's up to you, really. Okay, same thing for the paddle. You can change it here again, all right? So that's for the falling item, if you want to modify it. And this, uh, and below, if you keep looking, and as you can see, there's a bunch of them, okay? So we really gave you a lot of choices. Now, you don't have to use these, okay? You can use any ones that you feel like or you want to go with. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to show you that we did a reskin that's using a different uh, set of files, okay? All right, so as you can see, there's a bunch of them. Now, here comes the paddles, okay? So we arrive in the paddle section. All of these are items that you can use to um, uh, to grab uh, or to, to catch the uh, falling items, all right? So really, there's a lot to go with. It's really up to you here. Now, what you can do is get your own, and uh, I'm gonna show you that uh, we did a quick reskin just by drag and dropping these, um, and we arrived with a different, very different type just using the exact same code, okay? So I'm gonna run it right now. Okay, and we called it Chicken Fall. So let me play it. As you can see, I didn't even change the, the music, all right? All right, here we go, Chicken Fall. As you can see, this time we went a bit overboard and we changed also the menus, not just, not just uh, the background, but as you can see, it looks more like a polished game, okay? So I'm gonna click on play and show you how it goes. All right, so as you can see, we also changed the instructions, but it's pretty straightforward. It's the exact same mechanics. 
really just a few files, few images and we're ready to go. Okay, so as you can see, the first wave was only five items. Now I'm gonna stop this and I'm gonna show you how to play with um, this um, these variables. So the following item, initial counts, I'm going to put that to 50, okay? And the initial fall speed, I'm going to put, instead of 4, I'm going to put 10, okay? And the fall speed increment, 1.5, I'm going to leave that. So just by doing this, let me make a bigger, pa a bigger paddle. Instead of a value of 1, I'm going to put a value of 2. And for the falling item size, I'm going to make it even bigger, so it's easier to play, okay? And I'm going to run this. So now, check this out it's going to be a totally different um, speed which is going to make the, the game feel a lot different okay before it was a bit slow and a bit spread now it's going to be a bit uh, a bit closer let me show you all right so the um the paddle the nestle should be a lot bigger as you can see and now i'm going to click on play and we let's go okay so as you can see there's a lot more uh, falling items, okay? And it's a lot easier to play, but it might be more fun to me because if I'm a kid, I don't want it to be too hard, okay? All right. Okay? I'm gonna stop here, but as you can see, it's very simple to just change the game mechanics, all right? Now, if it's too, too slow, you can just speed that up, no problem, all right? So I'm actually going to do that right now. I'm going to show you. I'm going to make the speed, instead of going initial speed of 10, I'm going to make a speed of 20. So it's going to be uh, twice as fast. And um, what I'm going to do is um, the vertical space between the following items, instead of 120, I'm going to put this to 60. So the items are going to be a lot closer to each other. Now, if it's closer, it means it's going to be harder to play. But let's see if I, if I can handle this, all right? Okay, so at this point, you guys should already know how to, to do the reskin process. Um, I've already showed you everything, so feel free to just stop this video and, and, keep, uh, and start the reskinning process. Otherwise, keep looking, I'm almost done anyway. All right, so as you can see, it's a lot faster and they're a lot closer and actually missed. It's, it's a lot harder. All right, yeah, see? So it's actually almost unplayable, but it's fun though. Okay, so now it's up to you guys, go for it. Now I'm gonna show you, um, right here i'm going to right click and do show in finder and i'm going to show you the files that are overwrote okay so as you can see under jump jump in the resources folder i changed these ones okay um i changed the uh, the textures right here i changed the instructions i did not have to but i did okay let me put this down a bit so you guys can see it better all right i changed the background okay change the falling item to that chicken and instead of the paddle I changed the uh, the basket to the nestle all right so now you guys have everything you need go ahead and uh, start reskinning and good luck to the winners the prizes to win are just amazing so really put yourself into it good things are coming your way good luck